Our judgment is, as things stand at the moment, again, we're based on this scenario, is that TPWS, if fitted and working at this signal, would have prevented the train from coming into conflict and would have prevented the collision. We are also clear that this is exactly the kind of signal which would be required to be fitted with this system. It falls within the definition of the regulations. The reason for two weeks is that shift patterns can vary and indeed they occur. If this does turn out to be um, in simple terms, if people say this is an error, somebody made an error, why is it that people make errors? Nobody makes errors for, for, for no apparent reason. I think anyone who says that a driver you know, is, is careless or they do things deliberately, they don't really know what the situation is because in any situation like this, the person most at risk in any of these accidents is the driver himself or herself. And I don't believe that any driver sets out to be careless. I don't think any driver sets out to make mistakes. So why sometimes, and I'm not saying that there was a mistake, I think, at this stage. I'm just saying that the whole arrangement which puts people in this position, obviously from time to time, leads to failure. And it's not just human failure or equipment failure. It's, it's a failure of the circumstances.